Hi everyone! We are at Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. What you're seeing right in front of you, that is a pipe organ. Isn't this pretty? Okay, so I'm going to go closer to the organ and I'm going to introduce you the music director from Holy Trinity Church. His name is Mr. Vince Evans. He's going to introduce you about this pipe organ. Hi guys, how are you? I, I know you're enjoying your classes with uh, Dr. Uh, An, and um, the organ is a very special instrument. A lot of people do not realize that it was actually the first keyboard instrument, and uh, it was actually in the Roman circus or Colosseums. Uh, they were actually called a hydraulis because the wind was powered by displacing water to push air up into pipes. And they had, um, they had like sticks, they were a melodic instrument, they would hit them with a fist. Uh, the organ uh, actually came into use around 1100 in, in the Christian churches. And uh, very interesting that it's uh, all driven by wind and their pipes. Uh, during that time, they would have to have people, much like an old pump organ, but they would be uh, in the chambers and they would be pumping while the organ is played. Today we have uh, what's uh, known as a blower and it blows in there and it keeps the wind pressure uh, going. Now the organ is a wonderful instrument. It, uh, it is a whole different idea than a piano or a harpsichord or a clavichord. And the organ was never meant to copy the orchestra. Some people think that, but it was its own instrument. There are some sounds that you will hear that will bear the names of orchestral instruments, but they were, uh, it was just a way to identify them. So first, if you look, there are three keyboards. Now some organs may even have as many as four or five. Um, but they all have names and they have special purposes. The middle manual on American organs is called the great organ. And the great organ has the main sound of uh, what we know as the principal family. And we can add a little bit more to that. the main organ sound it's called principal first just like or principal now you have several different families of sounds and these different keyboards will have purposes with those sounds so I've introduced you to the one family principal there are also principles but they're a little bit lighter on this is called the swell and the reason it's called the swell Also down in the pedal, we also have the pedal keyboard, and there are principal sounds here. And if you notice, there are, they look like the keys up here, there are 32 of them, and so you play the bass notes on the organ uh, on, from the pedals. So those are principles. The next family is the flute family. and. It's a very light sound. That's the flute on the grate. And that's another flute. So there are two there. The flutes on um, the swell. Notice that that sounds different. Each one of these are voiced differently. Some pipes are wood, some are metal. And the way they function is that it's almost, have you ever taken a bottle 
like a, a, a Coke bottle, even a plastic one today, and blow across it and it sets a vibration and sound. And depending on how much space there is according to liquid is how the pitch will be higher or lower. And so they can voice these so they sound different. And the choir division is over on this side and the flutes on it sound much different. That's a little bit more mellow. And look, it also has a swell tune. So those are the flutes. Now, we have another family called the string family. And they are not like violins. That's on the swell, but stay right there. Uh, here on the choir behind Dr. Hahn. See how light that is? And so it's dead. And then I can take and put this with it. It's kind of a rolling sound. It's called a celeste. And I can do the same on uh, the swell. So we talked about the principal family, the flute family, and the string family. Now, here's the fun part. These are the big ones. They're called the reeds, and the reason they're called reeds are this. Inside the bottom of the pipe, there's a boot, and there is a, a, a metal shallot, or a piece of metal that's thin. And when the air blows up through the boot and hits that, it vibrates. Almost like when you play a trumpet and <laughs> do like that. And then it goes up the pipe and it sets the vibration up in the pipe. So um, our, I'm gonna use the fun ones first because they're in the pedal. This is called a bombard. You remember uh, from the uh, Harry, po uh, Harry Potter movies, they would say bombarda. It, a bombard is actually like a cannon. So it's got a big sound. And there's another one that's a little bit lighter. There's also some on the, the swell. Now that's a heavy one. You also have some that are lighter. And you can use this one like a solo. Isn't that interesting? And then you have another one on the choir. It's called a clarinet. And see, it sounds different. Now we have a big one on the grate. That's pretty loud. I can take and also use some electronics and even make that uh, much larger so it'll sound like this. Some of those pipes, you look at them and they will be sticking straight out. Those are called uh, enchamades or horizontal trumpets. They're under higher wind pressure, much like diesel truck horns, uh, and uh, they will solo over a full sound of the organ. So just building the sound, we can start off with something kind of soft.
show you. It's right here. It's called the crescendo pedal, and I'm sure you've heard this word uh, taught talk to you by Dr. Ahn. And this pedal, what it does is it will connect uh, more pipes, rows of pipes, ranks of pipes, until you keep adding. So it gets a little bit louder, a little bit louder, a little bit louder. So if you're wanting to get to a full sound, uh, pretty quick, you can smack that pedal. There's also another piston we also have as a toe stud. These, these toe studs do the same things that these thumb pistons do. But there's, uh, have you ever heard um, the word tutti? It's an Italian word. You've, you probably heard somebody talk years ago about tutti frutti ice cream or tutti frutti, like juicy fruit gum. It's supposed to be uh, all flavors. Tutti means all. So if you see tutti on an organ, it means everything. I push this. This red light over here comes on and it says to me, look out because you've got, Bessie is about to blow everybody away. And here she goes. <laughs> Big sound, huh? So, uh, the organ is such a neat thing. Yes, it takes a, a long time. I've been playing since I was 10. But it can, you, you build your coordination. Uh, Dr. On plays the organ as well. And uh, you can also take the sounds from each of these different keyboard divisions. And these are called couplers. And that allows you to bring the sound of another keyboard or division to another one so that you can make your sound bigger. So there's so much I could tell you. I know that Dr. On. Uh, is, is, is at time now, but um, thanks for letting me come into the classroom and uh, uh, come see us at Holy Trinity Lutheran Church in Marietta, Georgia. Bye Thank now. you. You're welcome. <laughs>